pointing forward and backward your own life cycle, the life cycles of all these other uh, imaginary characters around you unto whom you constantly project your desires that are really endless and you have to terminate them because if you don't terminate that crazy flux of desire it will simply burn you alive inside out and uh, what happens even if someone with the best of intentions comes and uh, uh, simply tries to be one uh, with you in order to help you accommodate uh, all the spheres of reality that you're going through then one day like you're so one and the next day you know uh, you get all kinds of crazy as uh, drivel uh, vitriol on your face like a sulfur out of nowhere except from the uh, heart of the person who is processing through all of that okay, and co-processing whatever you any one of you likes to co-process with me I don't really have an agenda in that uh, and uh, I don't really even have an agenda of not getting a lot of shit on my face in the end always because you know welcome to the black hole and uh, and uh, you know right now I'm so tired of it that I'm just gonna start blowing the fumes again back on your face because you keep blowing them on my face all over again you know so uh, Never mind. In the Norse sagas, there is the primal void of Ginnungagap, like a black hole of potentates. That is, of course, I mean, if you go into the heart of a black hole, what you find is obvious. Anyway, and from the primal ice, from the frost, and from the primal fire, from the uh, muspel, uh, come the two polarities that are ever in conflict until. the day of Ragnarok or the meeting of the Aesir and the Vanir and the underworld and the higher world of your own uh, archetypal awareness. These are simply cognitive processes that are equal for all of us living through the human life cycle in this uh, harmonic nature. Now we got this thing connecting the world, kind of like a wormhole. The moderns call it uh, the Einstein frozen bridge, and the uh, Norse they would call it the uh, Bifrost bridge or the uh, binary freeze uh, conduit uh, between the uh, dimensions. I mean, you got the ternary space uh, implosion in the omega field, and then you you know enter. Uh, through the monadic tunnel into other dimensions and uh, see how they are constructed with the dharma eye, uh, with the pattern eye, for example. And you can also infuse that with the bodhi light of luminosity or the uh, sattva gyata uh, ishvara uh, principle of the uh, yogis from way back in the days and uh, reach dimensions like that and uh, in case you need to cover it all up and uh, make people say that it's just a bunch of crazy uh, drug induced bullshit uh, it's good if you're smoking a joint for symbolic purposes even though it doesn't really affect you uh, at all is the funniest thing but it helps my broken back lubricate because it's so fucked up from sitting so many unbroken hours here at the computer uh, tending to all of the world's problems and uh, getting all kinds of uh, crazy shit in return. Anyway, when the sons of Muspel, the fiery-hearted uh, guts of people coming from the solar plexus, from the uh, light of Lucifer, the plexus of heart, and uh, seeks to destroy when they try to cross the uh, ice and Rosen bridge or the wormhole that uh, connects uh, the uh, ternary uh, phenomenal dimension.
dimension with the binary influential dimension of the overarching deities or angels. You got the angels in the quad and then you got the Ark of the Covenant and the, that is the nether symbolic of the throne of God above the Neoma and Logos and the Lamb and the Bride below in the binary fusion uh, reaching the Alpha and Omega of the universe. Anyway, when they were to reach that with a fiery purpose instead of going for the uh, luminous crystal eyes, then of course it's gonna burn to hell, you know, whatever what you expect. And I've told it like a hundred million times that if you go through the ascension process and uh, die your seven deaths uh, in your seven energy fields and uh, die to the seven phenomenal identities, you still got this crazy ass messianic crown of unification spinning on your head that you think is the be all and the end all and the all seeing eye of the world. Well, guess what missing move is just the eye of Indra or Shaka or the king of heaven in the old symbolic domain and it only sees so far because it projects all the arcs of desire still their purified desires all right but there's still desires their attachments to different states of existence you can have gross attachments to uh, bodily and uh, also mental pleasures in your here and now you can have attachments to uh, afterlives and or other dimensions that are accessible through these uh, bodily wormholes or uh, trans dimensional uh, between life and death conduits between uh, uh, different realms of uh, more and less composite and uh, elementary and uh, liberated ultimately monadic existence. So all of that is so f and and both and boring, so uh, that's why I'm just uh, smoking a joint here and not really giving a fuck. Because you don't give a fuck, you just throw shit on my face without even trying to understand what I'm on about. So, got you some more. Black holes, do you know what black holes do? When I mean, you got a lot of shit floating around in the event horizon is of a beautiful median axis that appears dark, but that has a luminous heart because all the stellar essence is compressed into the heart of the black hole, of course. Like that's obvious again. If you go into the obvious and see what it's made of. Haters gonna hate, judges gonna judge. Who's gonna go in and see that one will know where to nudge? Or if there is anything to nudge, or just not. Not in the emptiness of the void, or is there a luminous heart of new creation? Who knows? Sure as hell, no one floating in the event horizon and making a lot of noise gonna know anything at all ever. They're just being sucked into their own pool of radiant shit that is eventually going to implode, uh, boil in the final soup of the alphas and the omegas or the ends and beginnings of your mountains and valleys in your sort of uh, heartbeat and uh, brainwave, uh, heart mind unison of your continuum of existence. Yoga is chit to with Nirodha. Yoga or union uh, is the nirodha or the uh, cessation termination of uh, individuated mental patterns uh, when one becomes an empty container through which the universe flows in a seamless thread from its beginning to its end and uh, you don't really have to pause in the middle to smoke a joint and have a break unless you really want to. Sometimes you need to do it just to make people pause for a moment they're so high in their heads, they need to get a little stoned and lower down, and then they can again conceive, conceivably, of some more subtle spheres of existence and awareness beyond their habitual patterns. I hope that's clear enough. If it's not clear enough, then be a brave little angel, go and ask a clear goddamn question about whatever that is.